Here we have an amazing plant that grows all across the southwest. The buffalo gourd, or Curcubita votadissima. If you are a gardener, the scientific name may strike you as familiar. That's because watermelon is also a curcubita, which explains the resemblance of the small gourds on the vine to watermelons. In the edible category, these gourds are split open, the seeds removed and dried, at which point they can be roasted or even ground into flour. In the utility category, like most other gourds, these gourds can be dried, hollowed, and used as a container, even a water carrying vessel, and as mentioned in prior sections, both the vine and leaf make a great soap. Many people mistakenly believe the gourd is the soap. That is because they have never gone to the field and tried it out. The gourd will produce no lather at all. The leaves will produce a light lather, but it is the vine that produces the finest white lather. Now for a quick lesson on a useful and quite attractive desert tree, the Palo Verde, or Greenwood. Palo Verde gets its name for obvious reasons, which makes it very hard to misidentify. And if you still aren't sure about it, just take note of the large thorns on the tree. The Palo Verde tree has two main uses to those living off the land. First. The wood was considered a fine selection for making traditional bows. And second, the beans of the Palo Verde tree are said to be high in protein and were ground into flour by the Native Americans of the Southwest. Now for a tree that grows in slightly moister climates, California's own native palm tree, the California fan palm. California fan palms can be found growing everywhere from the streets of Hollywood to naturally moist areas, meadows, and creek sides. The fan palm has a variety of uses, but it truly stands out in the fire making category. Once the large leaves of the fan palm are aged and fall off, they are ready to harvest for fire making. At this stage in their development, the inner woody core is separated from the leaf, which simply means you can peel the outer leaf away and expose the core. This woody core is absolutely the finest baseboard for use in the friction fire technique, be it the hand drill or the bow drill. Like nearly every palm, the California fan palm also produces wonderful cordage, which is also quite strong. This cordage, when dry and old, is also very useful as a fire tinder. In the edible category, the small, date-like fruits can be consumed, and in times of famine, just like the sago palm, 
the inner core of young palms was consumed by Native Americans. Here we have another common medicinal plant that is often overlooked as a weed, fleabane or horseweed. This plant can be found growing along waterways as well as in open meadows across North America. It gets its common name fleabane from its reported ability to keep insects away. Its primary use is as a medicine however. Fleabane has been used throughout history to stop bleeding, to treat diarrhea, to assist with respiratory infections, and also as a diuretic to help treat kidney and bladder ailments. Once again, we have an often overlooked plant that turns out to be highly useful to man. Here we have one of the most common berries to North America and Europe, the elderberry. Elderberry makes a wonderful food. Though it may be tart right off the bush, when cooked with sugar, it makes great jellies, jams, juices, and even wines and brandies. In the medicinal category, the leaves of the elderberry are crushed and applied externally to swollen or painful areas as a poultice. The flowers are applied the same way, yet the flowers can be taken internally as well. A mild concoction from the flowers is used for colds and flus, and the same tea can be applied externally for a skin wash or hair rinse. The extract of the berries is said to contain a powerful chemical known as sambucin. This chemical is rumored to be antiviral and has come into widespread use as a flu fighter. In the utility category, the wood of the elderberry comes in very handy. It has a soft pith in the center which is easily removed and was one of the first woods used for flutes by Native Americans. This wood is also processed into hunting bows, and as it is split easily and the pith removed readily, even made into atlatl dart launchers.
Here we have an amazing and legendary tree, the willow tree. There are many species of willow tree growing along waterways all across the globe, all with very similar uses. In the medicinal category, willow is high in salicylic acid. Salicylic acid is where aspirin comes from, and the white willow tree was the original source for aspirin. Therefore, the bark of the willow tree, which is easily peeled away from the branches like cordage, is used like aspirin. It could be made into a tea for pain and fever reduction, and the same tea can be applied externally for skin conditions, as many over-the-counter acne treatments contain salicylic acid as a primary ingredient. And the tea from the bark is also anti-inflammatory, much like aspirin. In the utility category, willow has a wide range of uses. The bark can be peeled away quite easily and used as a cordage. The straight and flexible branches are used for everything from shelter poles to arrows to atlatl darts to raw materials for constructing furniture. The willow is also used to construct the bow and drill and hand drill fire making kits. The scientific name for the willow tree is Salix, which is Greek for near water. That is because wherever willow grows, water can be found, above or below ground. This makes the willow tree very handy to the wilderness survivalist. It is by far the number one water indicating plant. We will conclude our lessons with one of the most powerful medicinal herbs on the face of the earth. It has been so sacred to man since its effects, they have found individuals ritually buried with it in graves 60,000 years old. It is said to stop bleeding so well, it has been used as a battlefield medicine since ancient times all the way through World War I. It is said to stop colds and flus in its track, ease stomach ailments, and even kill pain and disinfect wounds. This plant is yarrow, Achillea millifolium. Let's see what top international stunt woman Kylie Furneaux has to say about it. We've just come across this plant, it's called yarrow. So it's one of the most sacred herbs in the forest and it has amazing medicinal properties. So it has anti-inflammatory properties and it was actually used to like bind wounds and keep them um, sanitary in the wars since Achilles' time, apparently, and that's where it gets its name from. Um, it can be used if you're feeling, like if you're starting to feel a bit sick, like you feel like you're getting flu symptoms, you can make it into a tea and it'll um, wipe out those cold and flu symptoms. So it's an amazing little plant. Let's get some. In conclusion, you should know that the information presented here was just a start, and many of the plants covered have even more uses than what we have shown. We strongly recommend you research not only these plants, but the ones all around you. We thank you greatly for your support, and hope to see you soon in the field, utilizing your new skills on how to live off the land. <laughs>